Okay, this video is all about inheritance in Python. Um, so, what is inheritance? Well, the nice thing is about object-oriented programming is that once we've created a class, um, if we want to create other classes which have very similar characteristics, then we can actually inherit them. So, inheritance is exactly that, taking um, attributes and methods from a class that's already exist, that already exists um, and putting them into um, a new class. So a class can inherit attributes and behaviors, also known as methods, from other classes, and these are called superclasses. Now if you look on the right hand side you could see um, a little example. Um, if we had a class which was a human class, uh, we'd know we'd call that as a parent class, a base class, or a superclass. And from that, we could produce a woman class or a man class. So a woman class might inherit all of the attributes and behaviors from the human class um, as would perhaps the man class and we call these classes which inherit others subclasses or derived classes child classes or air classes and so let's have a little look then at what as to why we might want to do that because it does make sense that we might want to inherit certain characteristics from other classes um, so if you imagine that we had a human class we could create lots of human objects from that particular class but it would be a little bit silly because half of those objects that we create we would want to set their genders to male and the other half we might want to set to female every single time an object is created and that's not necessarily the most efficient way of doing it so what we could do is, yes, we could inherit um, all of the attributes and methods from the human class into the man and woman class, but we can then um, actually um, set up man's gender, so overwrite the, male, the, the uh, gender attribute to male, so that every single time we create our man object, yes, it, in, it has the same attributes and behaviors as the human um, class, but because we've set the gender to male, it means that we don't have to do that for every single object that is created. That is sort of written into our brand new template that we've just created for man. Okay, so let's have a look to see how we can do that in Python. Okay, so you can see here an example of two classes that have been created. Uh, so let's begin with the human class. So I've created a human class, I've created the constructor where I've set a couple of attributes starting value so human gender is set to human and age is set to zero I created my two attributes that you can see there and, a, and the human class has also got a method which is called speak so what it does is it says hi I am a and then it takes whatever's in human gender so in this case if we create a human object and it has the default value of human for human gender it would say hi I am a human then what we've done is we've created another class now this is a subclass a child class and it inherits the human class. So you can see that in the brackets next to man, it has got the name of the parent class, which is human. So at that point, it doesn't actually inherit all of the attributes and methods. What we need to do inside our man classes constructor, the first line is this super brackets dot initialize brackets. Now this is called a super constructor and this is what is needed to actually inherit all of the attributes and methods from the human class, the parent class. So we, all we need to do to inherit is add two values. We need the name of the class that we're going to inherit and then we need to add this super constructor inside our classes constructor. So now if I actually run this code you can see what happens. So I have created an object from class man and I've called it a man. I've then got two print statements, print the human is, and then it takes the value of whatever the, gen the, the, the value inside human gender for this object. And then I've also printed the human is, and then I've, I've got the age of that object. And then I've called a man dot speak. So the method, which was speak, and it has worked. It said that the human is a human, the human is zero, and hi, I am a human. So you can notice that I've created this object, a man, from class man. And inside class man, it doesn't have any attributes for gender or age, and it doesn't have any methods. 
what it's done is it's taken or inherited human gender, age, those two attributes and placed it inside of man and it's taken the method speak and placed it inside of the man class as well so that when we create our objects from man you can see that it works perfectly well so it inherits all of the attributes and methods and it's done so by using this super constructor okay, let's have a look at another example so I've made one slight change here in the super constructor yes I want to inherit all of the attributes and methods but what I can also do is I can overwrite a particular attribute so because in my man class I want the human gender to always be male I can actually set that so that every time I create an object from class man I can overwrite the human gender attribute that it inherits from human so in the brackets all I've done is human underscore gender equals male and what that does is when we take the attributes and methods from our human class it finds human gender and it sets it to male again so that every single man uh, man object that is created from our man class will have male as its gender so if I run this code now you can see now that the human is a male the human is zero and it says hi I am a male so it once again calls that uh, speak method and also it can access the appropriate attributes but the human gender attribute has now been set to male okay in this example you can see how I've actually added a new attribute to my man class so it's all very well inheriting methods and attributes from a uh, parent class you can also customize your own um, customize the, the child class by adding in its own new attributes so here I've said that self dot hair color equals green so every time I create a man object yes human gender is going to be set to male but also I've got this new attribute whereby hair color equals green so if I try to create an object and access this new attribute hopefully it will say that the human hair is green and it does that created an object from our child class man and we're printing out the human is a male human is zero so this zero value is taken from our parent class the male value is also taken from the parent class but obviously it was passed in from our child class in the super constructor and the human hair is green well that's taken from our man class and again we're calling the speak method from the parent class human now it doesn't always make sense for a man to have green hair wouldn't it be better if we could actually pass a value into our man class for hair color so that whenever you create an object we can set the hair at that moment in time so here you can see that I've added into my constructor of my man class a new parameter called hair color and that hair color is going to receive an argument during instantiation whereby brown is going the argument brown is going to be passed into hair color and just like we've done before it's going to be passed into this variable here and will be it will set the attribute hair color to whatever is passed in so in this case hair color will be set to brown so there's an example of passing a value in at instantiation into our child class it picks it up and sets the new attribute to that particular color so here the human is a male human is zero humans hair is brown and hi I am I am a male okay so the other thing that we can do is we can actually overwrite methods so in our parent class we inherited human gender and age the attributes and we also inherited this method speak now it might be that we don't want to use that particular uh, speak method we might want to overwrite it so what we can do is we just add in our own speak method into our child class and you can see here that the speak method prints hi I am a it then takes the gender of whatever um, object is just created it says what the hair color is what its age is so there you go so now if we try and run this you can see that instead of accessing uh, when it when it when we create the object a man and we call this the method speak instead of accessing the human classes method speak it now only 
accesses the speak method from our class called man. So you can see here that it says, hi, I'm, I am a male, my hair is brown, I am zero years old, so there you go. And the only other thing that I need to really show you to finish off is that um, it might be that I want to add some more parameters in at instanti instantiation. So for example, age. So yes, I can pass the color brown into my child class and it goes into the child class's attribute. But what if I want to pass a value in at instantiation which goes into my child class but then into my parent class to overwrite, for example, age? Well, this is what we do. We simply, in our constructor from our man class, we add in a new parameter called age. But what we then do, because we want to pass this into our parent class, we need to add in an appropriate parameter into our super class. So here you can see that I've added age equals age. So this is what happens. When we create an object, two values are being passed into our man classes constructor hair color which is brown so brown goes into hair color and the number 30 in this case goes into age now hair color goes straight into this variable here pass straight into that variable and sets hair color for this object to be brown this age parameter however passes into this parameter or variable in our super constructor, so the constructor of the parent class. So 30 goes into here, it passes into here, which then initializes the age variable to 30. So age up here becomes 30. So now self.age is 30, so that if I then try and run the speak method of my new object which is created from the man class this is what happens so you can see here that it says I am a male the human is 30 the human's hair color is brown and it calls the speak method from within the man class and it says hi I am a male my hair is brown and I'm 30 years old so there you go so this 30 has been passed into the child classes constructor which has been passed into the super constructor so that it updates self.age of the inherited attribute uh, age. So now this object its age value is 30. And there's a little introduction to inheritance. Lots of stuff uh, that is in that video. Have a little play around. Hopefully it will make a lot more sense the more practice that you do.